Hello guys, welcome back to Tourney guys, it's Jacob here, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing the hat, it's because my hair's extremely shit today. I need to have a shower, so you know. <laughs> anyway, um, today's video is going to be quite a lot like my last video, 5 questions you should ask in a paramedic science interview. Today's video is going to be about 5 questions asked in a care interview. Now, I've had two care home interviews, my dog's barking, and um, both of them were successful. I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I wouldn't say I'm horrible at this advice I'm going to give you. Now, the care home interviews are quite a lot like the paramedic science interviews. They want to see you as a person, they want to see that they're getting the best person should them be working in, with dementia care. And the interview process I'm going to be going through is dementia care interviews and elderly interviews. You might have different questions for if you're going into a care home which suffers with mental health. Anyway, question one is why why did you want to come into this job? And now they're trying to kind of focus on you as a person and focus on why did you want to do this when you could have had so many other jobs like Working with dementia and working in an elderly care home isn't isn't like the most popular job in the world, and people would say people wouldn't do it. But if they they want to see why are you doing it, they want to see where your compassion is coming from, where you're, you know, where you're, you know, where why are you doing it basically? And if you just basically show compassion for the job and say, I've just always wanted to do something like this, I want to make a difference, I want to change, then they'll like that, they'll love that, they just want to see that you're a nice person. Um, question number two is, uh, they, they will ask a situation where, what's the word? Uh, confidence has been breached so if you feel as though there's being abuse or someone's taking a photo of a resident or you know that sort of stuff what would you do um now what they're looking for is that you ha you know the right process or you know around about what you should do if this happens so for example if you're saying you're going to be going to the manager and you know doing that sort of stuff my dog's back Anyway, um, a question, was that one? Two or three? Number three. Uh, question number three will be, um, uh, name, name time you have to be working as a team, or name time where you've had to work on your own, that sort of stuff. Um, they want to see that you're independent, that, they, um, that they can rely on you when you have to be independent with a resident or or and <laughs> they want to know that you are good at working with a team and you're good at communicating with other people that like interpersonal interpersonal skills and <coughs> that's quite an important question because if you're shit at working on a team horrible at working on your own then you would have to improve on that it's not not necessarily necessarily saying that they won't hire you but you have to improve on that because you will be working like that and it will be stressful. Question number four. I think I got question number four. It was quite a long while ago that I had it. Uh, to be fair, question. I, I had a question where someone said, name a time where you've had to report someone for doing something. I'm guessing, and to my own personal opinion, that would be where... They're trying to see if you will do that, if you have the guts to report people when they're doing something wrong. And to be fair, it's completely right that they're looking for something like that. I mean, if you're unwilling to report something when you're seeing abuse happening, and then it's just it's not good. Question number five. Number five uh, is. Um, name name a difficult situation. So a situation you've been in, which has been difficult, and you can't have had to work as a team and work your way out of it. Whether it's communicating, or you know, it's been quite stressful because you're gonna have stressful times working in care. Um, so yeah, naming a situation where if you have worked in like if you've never worked in care before, for example, if you've worked in 
uh, Primark, you can say where I've had to work in customer services or you've had to do something new or even if you've never, if this is your first job, because of a lot of people, this is their first jobs. Um, if your first job, you can name a time when you're in college, school, or sixth form, and you had to work in a team, whether it was going out on a residential trip, or doing a team exercise, or even doing a really hard assignment. And kind of number five point five, five point one, is um, be yourself. They have a chat with them, have like a genuine chat with them, so impress them. Um, they're gonna they're gonna ask the same in every interview, I guess. Do you have any questions for us? And my advice would be um, asking how many how many rooms the care room is. Now, uh, what's the variant of dementia is it? And yeah, just ask that sort of stuff. What brought you in care into this care home? And yeah, that's it for today's video guys, if you liked the video and I really hope it helps you and give it a like, subscribe down below and comment on other stuff you want me to talk about, give me advice about. Anyway guys, stay ordinary and have good luck with your interviews.